Hello, prop and costume builders out there. So, I have this Mandalorian jetpack that I've been doing some work on. Quite extensive amount of work. Uh, it's a 3D printed jetpack, and I've been doing a lot of prep work to it, getting it ready for the, the chrome paint. I got it all the way up to the point where I put the final gloss layer on it, but sometimes when you're at that stage, it's going to reveal uh, certain imperfections that you may or may not want as part of your prop. So I saw a couple of little things on it, and I decided to go ahead and just hold off on painting it with the chrome and go ahead and do those last minute repairs prior to you know, going ahead and proceeding with the paint. So over here, there was some... Uh, a couple of imperfections as far as layer lines still or slight cracking in those areas so I just went ahead and filled those up with the uh, spot putty and I'll sand those down uh, there were a couple of imperfections here as well that I sanded down and but what I did notice was that there were two runs in the paint in two different areas and I spent so much time prepping this thing that I my OCD was not gonna let me get away with that so I said let me just go ahead and, and fix those runs in the paint prior to putting the final layer on this thing okay while I was doing that I thought hey maybe there's some people out there that want to know how you take runs out of paint all right and how we can repair those areas without having to you know start this thing all over again okay so I'm going to show you that, guys that here I had one run in the paint in this area right here and I just went ahead and took care of it already and it's nice and smooth and it's ready for another uh, top coat here okay so I'll show you guys how I do it I'm going to put this aside and I'll show you guys the second run in the, uh, in the paint here so here it is I'm, I don't know how well the camera's going to pick that up but yeah it's picking it up fairly well right there so Here's a, a thruster, okay, now the thruster itself came out really well, all right, but you guys can see that right there, I'll try to bring it up here, right there there's a run in the paint, I'm trying to get the light to reflect off of it, but you guys can see it right there, okay, there it is, all right, so there's a run in the paint that I want to try to get rid of, I figured I'd just do a quick video for you guys and show you how I get rid of that run, okay, I still have to paint the bottom of this, but there it is okay so all right so I'll talk you guys through it and then I'll, I'll just take care of this real quick I started working on it but I decided to hold off and put this on video for you real quick all right so here we go first thing you need is some sandpaper guys all right uh, find different levels of abrasiveness okay uh, you're gonna start off with something like a 320 something like that and make sure it's fine sandpaper, not too uh, too grainy or too coarse. Okay, so 320, fine sandpaper. Uh, you can even get away with the 220, as long as it's fine. All right. And then over here, what I have is a, a very well used um, 600. Okay, and I'm going to use that just to go ahead and smooth everything out prior to the next step of paint. Okay. Um, it's kind of hard to feel it with the gloves, but I'm going to go ahead and use this here, all right? This is like a, uh, a 320, but it's it's very fine. I've been, I've been using it, so it's very, very fine, all right? What you want to do is not start off too coarse, all right? You, want, you might want to start off with the sanding process a little uh, fine, and then if you need to increase the uh, how coarse the sandpaper is, then you can do that little by little, very little at a time, because what you don't want to do is take too much off. Right. All you want to concentrate on, guys, is this. Right. You're going to want to feel right, where the actual run is. And you can feel that with your fingers. Okay, And then you feel where the run ends or where it stops being a run. All right. And you just want to stand up to those areas. All you're concentrating it on, on is, if you look carefully, you can see that there is a rise in the paint. Okay, And all you want to do is bring that rise back down to the surface area. Right, just all you're trying to do is bring that back down. So you're going to sand a very little bit at a time. Just very little at a time. 
and see where we're at. And sand a little more, see where we're at. And try to stick to that one area, okay? Now, a big mistake that people make is that they're gonna get the sandpaper and just go ahead and start sanding, all right? That, that's not gonna work too well, all right? You need to use something like this, okay? So what I have here is a, a wooden spatula, all right, that I stole from my kitchen. I'm not gonna go out and buy a sanding stick or make a sanding stick or anything like that, all right? I'm not doing this enough to do that. So this works fine. You, I just saw this here lying around. You can use something like this as well, all right? All you need is this very hard edge, okay? You want it to be somewhat 90 degree angles, all right? You need that hard edge to wrap your sandpaper around, okay? You want that hard surface, all right? That's what you need, okay? Yes, you can make sanding sticks, you can buy sanding sticks, but this works just as well, all right? So you're gonna go ahead and wrap this around, all right? That's it. And you're gonna use this hard 90 degree surface to go ahead and start sanding on that run, okay? Uh, some people are gonna say, yeah, I can use my finger, my finger's hard enough. No, your finger is not hard enough. All right, you're gonna need something a lot harder than that. And again, you just wanna start off very, very small. All right, very easy. And I'm gonna start going ahead and sand this for you guys. All right, you wanna start very easy, just on the surface. All right, and you can go up and down. You can do circular motions, whatever the case is, but you're working only the run. And you want to try to just go ahead and get that top layer of paint off where the run is. That's it. Okay? Try not to go into the surrounding areas or do anything like that. Okay? And the biggest concern here is that you don't create a huge hole in the paint. Okay? Now, like I said before in my videos, there's a way to fix everything. But you're trying to prevent yourself from doing extra work if you, if you can. So... Just go ahead and concentrate on the top layer, only where the run is, and try not to go too deep into the rest of the surrounding paint. So as you can see, I'm just concentrating on that one top area there, okay? And I'll go in circular motions, up and down, side to side. Wax on, wax off. And that's all I'm doing. I'm trying to get just that top layer off. Okay. A little at a time. That's already starting to look much better. And feel much better. Okay. Now the idea is to take the run out with the coarse paper, and then you start increasing in grain of sandpaper. So I'll start off with something that is uh, slightly coarse, and I'll go to something less coarse, and then I'll keep going up until I find a sandpaper that is very fine. I just use 600, you can use 800, 1500, 2000, whatever you want to get up to. But remember guys, that you're throwing another layer of paint on top of this, so you, the paint is gonna need something to adhere to. So 400 is okay, 600 is okay, anything too much more than that, and the paint's not gonna have a lot to grip onto. On the note of paint, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sand this to where it's very smooth, to where you're happy with it, okay? And then you're gonna go ahead and throw another layer of paint on top, okay? If you did any 2K or anything like that, you're gonna go ahead and do that as well, okay? All right, so I can already feel that most of that run is gone, so I can get back to sanding by hand now okay and now you can just sand by hand once most of that run is out of the picture you can just sand by hand okay and that is starting to feel very very good now Finer sandpaper now. Now the idea is to start blending whatever you did in with the surrounding paint. You get it just as 
flush to it. It's looking pretty good. You know, it's funny that whenever I do these things, whenever I build props now, I think about sharing them with people out there. These simple short videos would probably be something that would come in pretty handy to someone out there in a position where you had to run and now you're like, might be freaking out a little bit. But again, no need to freak out too much, just work it. So I was telling you guys that if you go too deep into this or you, you sand too hard, you may create an opening or a hole in the paint. Okay. If that happens, it's fine. All right. What you're gonna do is you're gonna finish all the surrounding areas. All right. You're gonna make them nice and smooth as best you can on the immediate area. Do what you can, and then you're gonna go back with some spot putty, and you're gonna fill the hole. And that's it. All right. Now everything is uh, just based on time. All right. And You're gonna to have to give that some time to cure. All right, so you give the spot putty some time to cure, and you sand that down, and then you paint the top of that. And that's it, guys. I'm gonna keep this video very short, all right? But I think that you guys get the idea, and uh, it's much better already, much better. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that there. Okay. I'm trying to get it up there. There you go. All right. So the run that was there is basically gone. I sanded it down to the rest of the surface. Okay. That's it. See, you can see that there it is. All right, so that's a pretty good angle there, and the run itself is no longer visible like it was in the beginning. Or at least much less visible. Okay. Depending on the project that you're doing, um, you might be adding weathering or some additional battle damage or whatever, and that you know covers a lot of that anyway. But I want to keep this one. Uh, a little bit clean as a finished product so all right guys that's it I uh, thought I'd share that with you so let me know if you have any questions and you guys have a very good day and keep building take care